Hello children. Welcome back to learn a new topic today in grammar. Today we are going to learn present continuous tense. Before learning present continuous tense, children we should know some basic concepts like what are verbs, what are helping verbs and what are the basic three tenses. So we have already learned in standard 2 what are verbs. Verbs means action words right and what are the helping verbs helping verbs like am is are was were which supports the main verb to frame the sentence correctly yes we have also learnt what are the basic three tenses yeah but children before going to the types of tenses can you all guess and think what exactly tense is Yes, you are very right. Tense means time. It tells us the action happened at different times. For example, the action happened and completed. Those are called as past tense. The action which is happening now or which is repeated daily, they are called as present tense. And the action which is not yet completed, which will be happening in the future, it is called as future tense. So, the tenses are divided into main three tenses. Past tense, present tense and future tense. Each tense has further four types. Okay. But in standard three, we are going to learn two type of tenses. That is present continuous tense and past continuous tense. But today we are going to learn only present continuous tense. So children, in present continuous tense, now we know what verbs are and what helping verbs are. Okay, so let's see what is present continuous tense. Okay. So children, first let us understand what is present continuous tense. It means the action which is going on. At the time of speaking or writing. Yes. So, in present continuous tense, we use is, am and are with the ing form of the verb to show what we are doing now. So, ing form of the verb means what? The main verb plus ing which will be for example, talk plus ing will become talking. Eat plus ing will become eating. And sleep plus ing will become sleeping. So, these are the ing form verbs. So, to use this in a present continuous tense, we use helping verbs before the ing form verb. For example, is talking is eating, is sleeping or we also use am talking, am eating, am sleeping or you also can use like are talking, are eating or are sleeping. So, we are using the helping verb, main verb and ing form of the verb. So, Generally, to all the continuous tenses, we use helping verb plus main verb, which is having an ing form. So, in present continuous tense, we are using only three helping verbs. And those are is, are and am. Okay. So, is is generally used to the singular noun. For example, he, she, it. Yes, and are is used to the plural noun like we, they. Okay, and am is used only with I. So, always remember children, is, am and are are used as a helping verb in present continuous tense. Okay. Let's see an example here. Nandu and Sandeep are typing very fast. Now, in this sentence, are 
is a helping verb. Type is a main verb and ing form. So our typing is a present continuous tense sentence. Don't forget that in continuous tense, the main verb always has an ing form. So we have learnt that in present continuous tense, we are using helping verb, main verb and ing form. Yes, so the helping verbs which we are using that differ as per the noun or pronoun. If the noun or pronoun is singular, we use is. If the noun or pronoun is plural, we are using are. And if it is I, we are using am. So, what is the rule of present continuous tense? Always remember there are three simple steps in present continuous tense. The first step is we need helping verb. The second step is we need a main verb and plus we add ing to it. So, for example, we can see how we have used the helping verb with the main verb and ing form. For example, is playing, are playing, am playing. So, you can use this sent use these words into a sentence like this. Ram is playing football. Children are playing football. And with am, you can use like this. I am playing football. So, we have seen in this chapter, present continuous tense means the action which is going on, which is not completed, which is going on now. Okay. And the rule we have studied that we use helping verb, main verb and ing form. So, now we have understood what is present continuous tense. So, shall we play the quiz? Okay. Let's set go for the quiz now. Okay. So, present continuous tense quiz. Actions happening now. Okay. Yes. In this quiz, you can see the picture is being given there and a sentence based on the picture is there. Now, you have to complete the sentence by using the correct present continuous tense. Yes. Now, in the first picture, you can see there is a bunny. Okay. Now, the sentence is the bunny dash the carrot. Now, think and answer this sentence. Oh, yes, you have answered it correctly. The bunny is eating the carrot. Yes, this is a present continuous tense sentence. So, what is the rule in the present continuous sentence? Helping verb, main verb and ing form. So, we have used is. Why have we used here is? Because the bunny is in a singular noun. Okay, so we have used here is. And eat is the main verb and we have added here ing form. Those sentence is the bunny is eating the carrot. Now this action is happening at present. That's why the sentence is into present continuous tense. Now carefully look at the picture. What is the picture about? We dash for a road trip. And the options they have given are plan, are planning and planned. Think, what is the rule of present continuous tense and accordingly complete the sentence. That's great. You have answered it correctly. You have used the correct option. We are planning for a road trip. Now, why have we used here our children? Because V is a plural pronoun. Yes, that's why we have used here R. And 
the main verb plan and ing form. So the correct sentence of present continuous tense is we are planning for a road trip. Now this is action which is happening at present. That's why it is a present continuous tense sentence. Now see this picture. What can you see in the picture? Think. The sentence they have given is I dash to work right now. Now think with I what will you use? Very good. Your answer is correct. With I we are going to use the helping word am. Okay. So your sentence is I am driving to work right now. Yes. So I is there. That's why we have used am. Drive is the main verb and ing form. So am driving is a present continuous tense. Okay. So right now the action is happening right now. The man is driving that car right now. The action is going on. It is not yet completed. That's why it is a present continuous tense sentence. And see the sentence is different. Here with I we have used am. Okay. Because the rule says that with I we should always use am. You have one more picture here in front of you. Observe the picture and think what option will you use there to complete the sentence. Yes, you have used the sentence correctly. The answer is they are playing basketball. Now children, why have we used here are? Yes, correct. Because they is into plural form. So, whenever the plural form is there, we are going to use are. Now, in this sentence, we have used are as a helping verb plus play is the main verb and ing form. So, the sentence is they are playing basketball. The action which is happening at present. Okay. So, I hope now you have understood how to use the verbs. In the sentence, okay, in the present continuous tense, we always use helping verb, main verb and ing form. That's why it is a continuous tense. Okay, so We all have understood now what present continuous tense is and what is the rule of present continuous tense. Yes, present continuous tense means the action which is happening now, which is continuous, which is going on. That is present continuous tense. And what is the rule of present continuous tense? In present continuous tense, we use helping verb, main verb and ing form. Okay. So now let's test our knowledge by solving this exercise. Now what is this exercise about? It is telling that Fill in the blanks with the present continuous form of the verb. See the first sentence. My mom dash make tacos on Tuesday. Now you have given a verb here. Make. Now make the sentence with present continuous tense. So what will be the sentence with the present continuous tense? My mom is making tacos on Tuesday. Why have we used here is? Because my mom is a singular noun. That's why is. Make is the main verb and ing form. So your sentence of present continuous tense is. My mom is making tacos on Tuesday. Similarly, let's see the second one. Stanley dash at the library. So they have given us the verb work. So how will you use? First check. Stanley is singular or plural? Yes, it is singular. So, what helping verb you are going to use here? Is. Yes. And main verb plus ing form. So, your sentence will be Stanley is working at the library. Good. In the third sentence, we are going to use at school 
the teachers are instructing the students why have we used here are because teachers is into the plural form okay now next one kevin and kelly are eating shrimp and fries now again kevin and kelly are into plural form there are more than one that's why we are using here are okay you can go to the shore when my dad dash for work so how will you use this you can go to the store when my dad is leaving for work dad is into singular form so is main verb leave plus ing form okay our goldfish dash swim in a very small bowl okay now our goldfish is swimming what are we going to use our goldfish is swimming in a very small bowl okay? next my team my team dash win the game so how will you use this into present continuous tense my team my team is one team okay so it is into singular form only so you will use like this my team is winning the game okay children i hope you are getting how we are using the verb helping verbs yes okay let's see few more examples the food dash tastes really good to me so the taste is the verb which we have to use so how it will be the food is tasting really good to me okay next one his secretary dash a long letter the verb they have given in the bracket is type so how will you make it into the present continuous tense his secretary is typing a long letter secretary is into singular noun so we are using is type the main verb and ing form okay so like this we are going to use every sentence helping verb main verb and ing form now the remaining sentences copy it in your class work or in a rough book and try to solve it now i hope you all have understood very clearly what is present continuous tense yes children okay so we will solve more worksheets for your better understanding okay now it's a homework for you all chalo write the remaining sentences see what is given in the bracket what is the verb they have given change that verb by adding helping verb main verb and ing form and make the remaining sentences into present continuous tense sentence okay चलो बाय बाय